Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Panini Contenders Football 12 box. Pick your team number six. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Here is the team list right here. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the team random that we did. That's in a separate video. So here it is, Tuesday the 7th. Full case, sir. Good luck, everybody. And let's pop this case open. Let's see what we got. 2019 Contenders Football. Yes, check. Nothing is filled up after this, ladies and gentlemen, so keep chipping away at all, at all the uh, breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's get some more going. squared away here. All right, let's go. Jeff wants to do that baseball mixer. No, Jeff, there's there's a lot of other people in that baseball mixer too. Lawrence is in it, Kaysen's in it, Danny's in it, Jeff Dorlax in it, TJ's in it, TJ Leonard is in it, both TJs. Mary Lou's in it, Yervin's in it. So a lot of people are already in it. It's not just you and Rex. Rex is in it too. But yeah, a lot, lot of other people in, in the uh, mix baseball mixer action as well. We can do that right after this. If it sells out by the time this goes. Ohio State, Maryland here. Is this a decent match? I guess it's 11 and 12. It's a decent matchup. Good luck, everybody. So we'll do uh, top bottom randomizers for this. We'll set that aside over here. Those are autographs. Now oh, they're. Points. We'll randomize this to one person and break winner take all on the points. Got Patrick Mahomes playoff ticket to 175. And Jaquan Johnson, cracked ice is our first autograph. Eight out of 23. For the Bills, Buffalo, Josh Filo with the Bills. Oh, and there's another autograph right down there. That's going to be Mac Wilson, rookie ticket autograph for the Browns. And that'll be for Josh Filo as well. Now, I'm not sure, usually... If it's a variation, they'll have the helmet of the team there. But since the Browns logo is just a color, is that a variation or not? I don't know. I don't know what the Browns variations look like. Nice Ed Oliver, rookie ticket autograph. Man, the Bills, I thought they had it, folks. I thought they had that game. Then there's this... Just kept letting the Texans back into the game, back into the game. We got a Ryan Finley, 
rookie ticket autograph variation. Senyin says all helmets are variation. So what does a regular Browns card look like? Because it's just the color, right? Yeah, but the Browns team logo, what's the Browns team logo, Senyin? That's what I'm confused about. That's obviously helmet. What's the Bengals team logo? Just stripes in there? So I guess this B would be the non-variation if we see an autograph of that. Maybe the Browns team logo would be that elf. They got that little elf guy. I like that elf. That's a pretty cool elf. Yeah, Sean's saying all the Browns that you've gotten were with the Browns helmet. Yeah, maybe the regular logo is a dog town logo. Or maybe they're just all variations. Good luck. Next one. Whoa, Sam Strayer throwing throwing some shade on the Browns. He's saying maybe uh, maybe a toilet seat is the Browns variation. Wow. Wait, have the Browns hired anyone yet? There's Devin Singletary, 50 out of 75. And Julian Love for the Giants. That's going to go to Josh Filo. We'll do an autograph recap at the end, of course. There's Jamel Dean, one, uh, seven out of 35. You got the kind of the ticket die cut right there. Ah, Sam's a Steelers fan, hence the hence the shade. That's right. Seven out of 35, Buccaneers. That's for Josh Melton. There's DeAndre Baker. New York Football Giants, rookie ticket autograph for Josh Filo. There's David Blow for the Lions. We looked pretty good here and there, Charles. Charles got the Lions randomized to him in the team random. So Sam Rail is saying that just looked up that Mac Wilson autograph and it was indeed the variation. The helmet was tilted horizontally and the non-variation are just symmetrical? Sean saying the Browns have the pick of everything left, including McDaniels, but they guaranteed they'll screw it up. 
There's TJ Hawkinson for the Lions. That's another one for Charles in Detroit. Who's left? I thought they'd be all over like Ron Rivera or Mike McCarthy. So are you saying this Mac Wilson, that helmet is tilted a little bit? I guess we'll just have to find another one and see. And see. I'll have to look it up later. The Browns have such a good team on paper. I feel like they just need, and others have mentioned this before too. I just feel like they just need a, uh, they just need a, a grown up in the room. Just to put that team together and then and go. Oh, maybe there is a code. Tyler said maybe there is a code on the back of the card that could that could indicate that. Tonin saying a QB for for who? right here so let's slide that out that'll be added that's winner take all on the points that takes the place of an autograph there's Deontay Johnson on card autograph for the Steelers that'll be for Michael Gallucci super saying what card is valuable for this set any of the top rookies from the 2019 NFL draft class Kyler Murray, Daniel Jones. Oh, I see. So you're saying... So that's the regular one, and that's the variation? So it just tilts down a little bit, and has more... And the But the non-variation has more detail on the face mask. But that is the variation, apparently. All right. There you go. Well, thanks, Sam. Now we know. The more you know. Now we know. Okay. Non-variation. MVP contenders, Jared Goff to 75. And Caleb McGarry, Atlanta Falcons. And that is for Josh Filo and the Falcons. And Sam's saying there's also a different, oh, two different Mac Wilson pictures, which can also indicate variation. All right. There you go. Nice. I like, I like getting that information. There's Trayvon Mullen Jr., my Raiders. That's going to go to Joe Perulo. There is Ola B.C. Johnson. It's a nice one. Vikings, Jerry Bennington. I think he's had a pretty decent season this year for the Vikings. Alright, next box.
Uh, I did not do Prominence 12. No, SK. Is that sold out? It's actually technically Prominence 13. I think Nick accidentally reposted it as Prominence 12. Prominence 12, uh, Jason did already. So there are a number of people who bought into Prominence 12, but that's actually 13. my prominence list is but yeah Sen Yin, Josh Melton, James Connell your prominence 12 orders are actually for prominence 13 I think we're off on the off on the numbering Next box. Good luck. We've got Josh Allen. Got a variation right there. Nice Josh Allen. Jaguars. Riley with the Jags. And we've got Snell, yeah, Benny Snell. Rookie ticket autograph and a variation. Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. And we've got Patrick Laird, rookie ticket autograph for the Dolphins. That's going to go to Zach Bell with the Dolphins. Ben Rossberger to 175. And Caleb McGarry. Falcons. Variation autograph. 45 out of 49. Josh Filo with the Falcons. We got Stanley Morgan Jr. 27 out of 99. Bengals going to John Sodaro, who got the Bengals, randomized him in the team random. All right, next box. So we were here together for the Saturday games where we saw the, uh, the Texans come back against the Bills in overtime. And... Second half, Josh Allen really, really looked like a deer in headlights, but I don't know. Well, a little marinating. That team, that, that Bills team is not too bad. Uh, Titans beat the Patriots. We saw that together as well. That was a bit of a stunner. Derrick Henry just went went off. We did not, uh, you and I did not see the Sunday games together. The Vikings beating the Saints. Man. Saints even scored. Well, they were, they were outscored. He scored 10 points in the fourth quarter to tie it up. 10 unanswered points. 
And then in overtime, the Vikings just marched down the field. They got they got Kyle Rudolph in the end zone. And then in a tightly contested match, Seahawks beating the Eagles 17 to 9. There's that controversial hit that I, by uh, Jadavion Clowney on on Carson Wentz knocking Wentz out of the game. And I guess I think like we we saw some recent college football games where where key players were ejected for targeting, but I guess that doesn't happen in the NFL. Next box. That Seahawks Eagles game I thought was actually kind of compelling in spite of the sort of weak scoreline. Well, of course, all sorts of conversations sparked about is, is Carson Wentz injury prone? Peyton Manning to 75. In that case, I would say no. More points. There's Miles Gaskin. But man, even with Carson Wentz, I think it would be a battle. The Eagles had so many players just not in that game. Seahawks were banged up too, but the Eagles had a lot of players missing. Zach Bell with the Dolphins. Some people, I've heard some people talk. There's Mac Wilson. There you go. So that's not the variation, right? Let's, let's, let's compare our Mac Wilsons for Josh Filo and the Browns. All right. So there's the variation right here. There's the non-variation. You can see the two different pictures here as well. So there you go. Detectives. There's Jacoby Myers. Darren Porter, who likes to be contrarian, saying it wasn't targeting, it was a tackle gone wrong, no intent. I, I, I know your game, Darren Porter. Just trying to rile the people up. College football, you would, uh, you'd be, you'd be, whether there was intent or not, you'd be ejected from that game. Although I don't like that rule either. Ryan Finley, uh, for John Sodaro and the Bengals. That's right, Sean. We did a little bit of sleuthing going on here. Thanks to Sam and this break. You see, we're learning something new all the time. I don't know. I think, I think the refereeing is going to be definitely a big topic of conversation in the off season. And the competition committee and trying to figure out what they're going to do with the pass interference uh, replays or non replays. Was that even a good idea? Is it even worth it? I don't know. A lot of lot of issues with the with the refereeing. That's right, Porterhouse. Dave. You, you're a, you're a boy who cries wolf. I get it. One day there's gonna be a real take, and then no one's gonna believe you. It's like no, I honestly believe that. It's like sure, Darren. And I'd be like, ah, oh, that's the brand I created at Jaspies. Now no one believes me. 
But yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, people are arguing. Yes, Sean. Sean's arguing. The ref butchered the whole PI review on purpose. It's just a mess. Hey, the there's Devin Bush the second. Right. They they tanked the PI review stuff so they could get they could just have it go back to the way it was. Right. There's Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. That's certainly what it seems like. I feel like the rules is all just a mess. Nice Devin Singletary for Josh Thilo and the Bills. I feel like at some point you kind of have to... Now, I don't know how to do this. And there are people that are much smarter than I. We'll try to figure that out. But you got to try to simplify the rules somehow, right? Or at least try to... Get get some semblance of consistency. I th maybe that's that's really what people want, right? At the end of the day, it's not necessarily the rules themselves, but at least just consistency. Let's get some consistency in the calls. There's Stephon Diggs, 39 out of 99. Don't have a ref overturning decisions by a ref. Separates from everything would be good. A third party. Terry Godwin, what if they're wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it gets complicated. Yeah, human error, hard to eliminate human error. Terry Godwin, the second for the Panthers. That goes to Josh Melton. Miles Gaskin. Uh, more trolling from Darren. Rudolph definitely created separation, too, for the TD. There's Miles Gaskin. It's a variation autograph for the Dolphins. Zach Bell. There's Ola B.C. Johnson. That goes to the Vikings. Uh, that goes to Jerry Bennington. No, I didn't, Johnny. That that was actually incorrectly numbered as 12. We already did prominence 12 like a couple weeks ago. So it actually was supposed to be 13. So you, James, your two spots, or no, you're, you're Johnny. Um, well, James, Josh, and Sen Yin, who bought into 12, it's actually supposed to be 13. So we'll run that. If that's sold out, we'll run that after after this. Yeah, the Rudolph thing was just... I mean, that's just football, right? Rudolph, Kyle Rudolph said it himself. I mean, if you want to go letter of the law, yeah, if you extend your arm out, but then the, the Saints cornerback was kind of locking up the arms, you could call a penalty on literally everything. There's holding on every play. You can call holding everywhere. But, well, I don't know when you're being serious or not, Darren. <laughs> I'm serious. I have no idea if, if you're just trying to stir up some stuff because I don't think Rudolph created that separation. I don't know when you're... I, actually, I seriously don't know when you're... <laughs> are you trying to rile people up or not? What, what, is, what are you doing here, Darren? Because I don't think it was too much. I think that's just football. People kind of run into each other. Or else, I guess we can just call a penalty every single play. There's always, always something going on. Next box. We're getting there. We're moving along. We're moving along here. 
There's Devin Bush, the second autograph. Isn't he a redemption sometimes? That goes to Michael Gluch and the Steelers. There's Tony Pollard. On card autograph. Nice die cut. 36 out of 36. Cowboys. Aaron Pett. Ah, Darren was being serious with the Rudolph one. Huge play like that. Playoff time. Throw the flag. But we see that play happen all the time. Do we call that all the time then? Or only during playoff time? I think that's where, that's where it gets different. And that I don't have an, an answer to. It's like, you know, there, there are fouls happening all the time. When do you call it? When do you not call it? The degree of the foul, I think, is where, where this is where the conversation gets tricky for everybody. I mean, we can we can get game tape and see every end zone play that's like that, and we'll see people pushing off all the time. We'll see contact happening after five yards every time, or whatever the distance is. How nitpicky do we get, or not nitpicky do we get? I mean, is is the case? There's Mike Evans to 175. Mike, that's where it's difficult. I mean, there's just so many rules. And I think that's part of the problem, too. Five out of 46, there's just a lot of rules in the NFL to keep track of and degrees of those rules. When is it just football and when is it just that's just the natural course of, uh, of the play. Dax Raymond, by the way, goes to TJ Leonard and the Bills, sorry, Bears. And this Colt, Ben Banagoo, will go to Jim Moore, who got randomized the Colts. There's Karen Higdon, Texans. Texans will be for King D. Josh Bruce saying one chief. Three cases, no chiefs for Josh yet. Well, we're not nearly close to being done, Josh. Let's not worry just yet. I would worry for around here. <laughs> And there's no Chiefs. All right. Next box. Well, what does everyone think for the divisional round? There's all. There's a lot of action happening in the divisional round. Saturday, I'll be here with you on Saturday for both of the Saturday games. Vikings at... 49ers. Who wins? Straight up, who wins? Will Driggers, uh, we'll have this break done in about another 30 minutes or so. Nothing, as far as of now, nothing is sold out yet, but I do see a lot of orders coming in. When I started this break about half an hour ago, nothing was sold out. And I'm looking at the website right now. And I don't think anything is sold out. So the world is our oyster, Will. What do you want to fill? Kaysen says Vikings upset. Why? Like what? What is your like, like one sentence reasoning? I I don't know how I feel about this game yet. I, I will totally admit that I was I was kind of. I was really not in on the Niners all season long, in spite of their 13-3 and record. I've been proven wrong every time. I don't know, just something about the Niners doesn't quite... They, they kind of feel like the Rams from last year. Like they're going to get exposed by someone at some point. Just like the Rams were last year. Albeit in the Super Bowl, but they got all the way to the Super Bowl. But 
That's kind of the impression I get with the Niners. Maybe that's an unfair. Maybe I'm wrong again. So I don't know how, how I feel about this game. Niners have a better defense. The Vikings will be facing, they're on their another road game and they're facing a better defense. I don't know if being outdoors makes a big difference for the Vikings, but they are going to be outdoors. I don't know what the weather is going to be like in San Francisco this weekend. Well, I don't think we've seen an autograph like that yet, or if that even is an autograph. Let's see. It's for the Purple Birds. It is an autograph. Nice. Marquise Brown. Five out of ten. That's pretty cool. Who's got the Ravens? That goes to Joe Perulo. Picked up the Ravens straight up. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I've seen this sort of autograph as of yet. Got the stadium name right there too. It's pretty cool. Hollywood Brown, once again. Joseph Perulo. Yeah, Kaysen is thinking Vikings, but he's like, he's like, yeah, it's tough. Kittle's a beast. Their run game's hard to stop. Last time the Vikings came off a big win in the playoffs, they got blown out. So, who knows? There's Ben Roethlisberger to 49. Zach Gentry. So those two Steelers going to Michael Gallucci. Let's keep uh, let's keep that sort of stuff out of the chat, Adam. Here's Travis Homer, Seahawks autograph going to Justin Pattison. Yeah, that Hollywood card is pretty cool, right? The Hollywood Brown. And Mike Weber for the Cowboys, Aaron Pettit. And Eddie Jackson for TJ Leonard and the Bears. Got randomized the Bears on card auto as well. Pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. Solid break so far, but I feel like we need one like one or two like monsters, right? I feel like that'll put a nice cherry on top of this case. Nice. Right, so I have four boxes to go. Five, 10, 15, 20 autographs to go. So we got a lot of opportunity. If you're hitless, we have a lot of opportunity to, to get you a hit. And if you're just spectating and looking for a monster, still, still monster opportunity in the last 20 autographs as well. All right, well, on Saturday, and again, I'll be here with you on this Saturday to watch the playoff games with you and break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. The late game on Saturday will be Titans at Ravens. What does everyone think there? Titans, you know, with a strong running game, solid defense. You know, they took care of business and they, they held on to win and beat the Patriots in Foxborough. Early exit for the, for the Pats. And the Titans... Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry leading the Titans to the to the next one. Who does everyone have there? Titans at Ray Marcus is saying just take the under on the Titans Ravens. Point total is forty six and a half, which is I think the 
among the lowest. I, I think the Ravens just roll, right? I, A lot of there'll be a lot of running in that game. A lot of a uh, lot of Derrick Henry for the Titans, and just a lot of running for the Ravens in general. Darren spectating, looking for a monster. Yeah, I feel like this has been a been a pretty solid case, but we just need a couple monsters for us to be like, all right, that was a great case. Maybe a few monsters say that was an awesome case. All right, first autograph is going to be no, not an autograph, but that's Baker Mayfield to 99. Josh Philo with the Browns. There's Julian Love for the Giants. That'll be for Josh Philo as well. We got Damian Willis. That's what he's talking about, Willis. That goes to the Bengals, John Sodaro, the Bengals. We got Eric Dungy, rookie ticket autograph for the Giants. That's going to go to Josh Filo. Anyone else have any thoughts on the Titans-Ravens game? No one else? I thought that would be a game that would move the needle for people. Sean saying Baltimore defense more set up to smother the run than the Tennessee defense. Nice Chase Winovich. That's pretty good. Rookie ticket autograph for the Patriots. That's going to go to Jeremy33. You've got to randomize the Pats and the team random. Yeah, Baltimore defense, I think, over the course of the second half of the season especially, is playing, uh, playing a lot better. First half of the season, they weren't quite what they were second half of the season, and even towards the end of the season. The Ravens defense is strong. And that's Debo Samuel. Nice Debo Samuel for the Niners. We should see him in action this weekend. Victor Zamora with San Francisco. And we got Victor on the board. Marcus is even thinking team total under for the Titans. All right, three more to go, boys and girls. Darren's calling a, a Haskins Championship ticket autograph. That would make uh, Nathaniel very happy. He got the Redskins. All right, good luck, everyone. A few more boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. Let's actually scoop some of this aside over here. What about, uh, how are we feeling about Sunday's game? We'll be here on Sunday as well. Texans at Chiefs. Texans at Chiefs. That's the early game on Sunday. Who does everyone have there? Texans at Chiefs. You got to lean Chiefs, I think. Just to win straight up, Chiefs, right? The classic Andy Reid off a bye situation. But man, Deshaun Watson can just... 
He can just take over a game if he wants to. I guess Mahomes could too. The Chiefs defense still a little shaky. Mark is saying that 51 total seems a little high for that game. I don't know, but Chiefs defense is still doesn't scare anybody, right? DeAndre Hopkins running all over. Just catching passes. Getting that yak. Yards after catch. Rex, tonight's, is, it, is tonight going to be a football night? We'll see. I don't know. Well, we, we got a we got prominence thirteen. Nick posted fourteen, so prominence thirteen. We're gonna do. But that's it. That's the only thing sold out, Rex. So we can still make it whatever night you wanted to make it. Did I look at these already? I think I did. We've only done two breaks today. So it's, I, I can hardly say that it's, it's a, been a, just a football night. I've still got a lot of night to go. There's Tyler Lockett. Sorry, points. Should flip those around. Greedy Williams, Browns. Mr. Mike said he still wants to talk Titans Ravens. I think he might be lagging behind a little bit, Chris. We have moved on to Texans Chiefs. Sean thinks that it's going to be a track meet, that Texans Chiefs game. I think so too. I think there's going to be a lot, a lot of points in that game. I don't know what's the weather like going to be there. I don't see any weather forecast. I mean, this guy's pretty good. So is Deshaun Watson on the other side. There's Jamie Collins, NFL Inc. At a 199. That will be for the Patriots, Jeremy 33. Rex, we've got plenty of day to go. I wouldn't worry just yet about that break, about your baseball. Kyler Murray, there it is. Rookie ticket, on-card auto, Kyler Murray for Jim Morin, who got randomized the Cardinals. Nice, good team random, good on-card autograph, nice Kyler Murray. There you go. That was kind of like the one of the booms that we've been looking for in this case. All right, two boxes to go. Mark is saying Chiefs defense gave up less than 10 points a game in three of their last five. Who were their opponents? <laughs> Who were their last five opponents? Have they faced a team like the Texans? I mean... They face the Raiders. They face New England. Their offense, we saw, is not that great. Denver, Chicago. Those aren't really scary offenses. I mean, Chargers put up 21 on them, actually. So... I 
Yeah, I don't think they... I mean, they actually faced Houston once this year. Chiefs lost 31-24. I think that's a scoreline we can see. 30-something to 20-something. 30... 30 and 30, 30, maybe even 60 point game. You know, Deshaun Watson, 280 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions in that game earlier in the year. Mahomes with three touchdowns and an interception, 273 yards. So that could be that could be an interesting game. I think that there there's gonna be points on that game. That's gonna on the West Coast, that game is a twelve PM game on the West Coast. So that'll be a good way to good way to kick start the day. No problem, Mr. Mike. Just don't let it happen again. No lagging. We want, we want people is make sure you're watching live folks. But I think just straight up, I think it's got to be it's got to be Chiefs. I think the classic Andy Reid off a of bye sort of situation has been pretty good. That defense, though, can't say defense makes me a little nervous. It's Troy Aikman, seventy-five, and Trayvon Wesco for the Jets variation autograph. For uh, Jim Moore picked up the Jets or got the Jets in a team random. Yeah, laying the points. If you're if you want to talk from that kind of angle, Marcus. Yeah, laying the points seems a little difficult for the uh, for the Chiefs though. Twenty nine out of ninety nine, Zach Allen, because you know Deshaun Watson can can do Deshaun Watson things and then backdoor cover, maybe even win, <laughs> you know, pretty easily. Mr. Mike's dad, we we got to get you a better internet connection for uh, upgrade your technology this Christmas. That's our goal. That's our 2020 goals right there. Nine out of 25, Gerald McCoy, NFL Inc. That's a cool looking card for Josh Melton, the Panthers. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe you go plus ten. There's, a, there's that one chief that Bruce was looking for. There you go, Josh. Gotcha. Juan Thornhill. Maybe there'll be some more in that last box there. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you maybe you tease the Texans 17 on a seven-point teaser with the Ravens. Okay, I like I like where your head's at. Maybe you throw Chiefs in a in a money line parlay. Can do that. All right. Sean says weather in Kansas City twenties to thirties during a game time and clear. See, no weather, but cold. That's football weather right there. David Montgomery for the Bears. That's going to be for T.J. Leonard. All right, and the final box coming up, boys and girls. Last five autographs. Good luck. This is Pick Your Team 6. Sam Rail saying Pick Your Team 7 is just down to nine teams left straight up. We can make that happen tonight. Let's do it. We'll talk more football, talk more playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? How does cold weather influence the kicker? I don't think it should, Laurel. Not not too much. The wind the wind over like ten miles per hour will definitely affect the kicker. If it's just cold and clear, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe the ball gets a little bit a little bit harder. But I think most kickers should be able to handle that. The wind is really what, what affects kicking the, the most, though, I would say. 
Hey, what about the last game for this last box of uh, Pick Your Team 6? Let's let's touch on that really quick before we finish this video. Uh, Seahawks Packers. What do we think? Seahawks Packers. That's the late game. Uh, no, they use div they they use no, they don't use one ball for the entire game. This isn't you know, 1918. This is 2020. There are, there are dozens of footballs used. And different balls for the kickers as well. And they've got they got a few different balls they can use. NC says Seahawks he's Seahawks and the points for sure. Yeah, Seahawks have had a lot of very close one possession type games this season across all competition. They play a little bit better on the road. Packers? I mean, it's I mean, it's basically Aaron Rodgers and then who else? But if Aaron Rodgers shows up, he makes everybody look good. Aaron Rodgers at home? Kind of hard to got this guy too actually. Still got that guy. That guy's pretty good. What does everyone think? Seahawks, Packers, whether straight up or or not, however you want to do it, however you want to discuss it. Yeah, what's the Green Bay weather, Sean? While you're on a, are you are you on? Are you still on the weather? You still have a tab open with the weather. That's right, Aaron Jones. Can't forget about Aaron Jones. How's that Packers defense? Russell Wilson always. Always a scary one, but Seahawks are a little banged up. But is Marshawn Lynch giving them new life? Too many narratives. Kind of hard to. Kind of hard to think about who this is. Actually, this is a tough slate right here. Nice printing plate. Darius Leonard, nice, great linebacker for the Colts. That's going to be for Jim Morin, who got the uh, Colts in a team random. Man, I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know what to pick in this slate of games. Maybe it's a DraftKings week for me. Jim, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We got Isaiah Bugs. That insect goes to Michael Gallucci. Or a spider. I don't know what kind of bug he could be. Speaking of the Seahawks, we've got Travis Homer right here, rookie ticket autograph. Mid to low 20s in Green Bay. That's the weather report. There's... Ola B.C. Johnson, nice rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings. Jerry Bennington. Adrian Peterson, autograph. Wow. Veteran ticket auto all day, Adrian Peterson. Not the Dwayne Haskins at Porterhouse Steak predicted that's not too bad for a veteran ticket autograph Redskins edition Nathaniel Murphy with the skins nice and a Hakeem Butler as well a couple autographs in like that last pack it seems like that's for Jim Moore and the Cardinals that'll go along nicely with your on card Kyler Murray so strong finish to a strong break, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Let's do some randomizers, and then I'll do a quick autograph recap. Ooh, Mark is giving us some next level stats here. He saw a stat that said Seahawks had the most 20 plus yard plays, and the Packers defense gave up the most 20 plus yard plays. So 
That's something to think about. I mean, we'll be talking about these games all week, so we'll keep rehashing and rehashing these games, and maybe I'll eventually, I'll eventually find some picks to share with you guys. For entertainment purposes only, of course. All right, there's the entire group right there. That's winner take all for the points. And we've got the top bottom for those round number cards. And just one dice roll for both lists, and that'll be six and a four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After 10 times, we've got TJ Leonard all the way down to Charles. And TJ Leonard with the points. Sorry, I thought I was doing blanked for a second. Charles, you get all the points. Six and a four, 10 times. One, think about what we're gonna do next. Prominence, I think. And 10. So top cards, top teams. We'll get these type of cards right there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was pick your team number six. Pick your team seven is in single digits, and we've got time to do it tonight. Plenty of time to do that. Nice Adrian Peterson. Here's your quick autograph recap right here. You got a plate. Got a Montgomery. I like these NFL Inc. cards right here too. Gerald McCoy. That Kyler Murray for Jim Morin was strong. Debo, Chase, Damian, Julian, Eddie Jackson. Nice Marquise Brown right here out of 10. That was pretty nice. Tony Pollard die cut. A couple Ola BCs. Gaskin, Devin Singletary is pretty strong. A couple Mac Wilsons. Oh, we were discussing the Mac Wilson variations. That's why they're next to each other. So that's a variation. That's not. You can tell by the... That's at a slight tilt right there, tilting downwards. That's just straight. There's a little more detail in the non-variation right there, and the pictures are different too. Another Gaskin, Snell Yad, Josh Allen, Trayvon, Deontay, Hawkinson, David Blau, Bluff, Blau, Blau, I think. Ed Oliver is nice too, and a cracked ice led things off at the beginning of Pick Your Team 6. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.